Okay, hello again. Uh, the video today is going to demonstrate how to submit market orders using the CTrader uh, risk and reward trading tool or charting tool. Okay, um, if you haven't watched the first video on this playlist, there's another video that's an introduction to this tool that tells you it in more detail. Today, we're just going to cover how to create market orders um, and different ways of doing it. Okay, so on the chart here, I've got the tool. I'm going to press play. Okay, the tool loads up. This is market order on the right hand side. So because we're using market orders, make sure you've got it set here as order type as market. Also, I've got here display market order confirmation as yes. And what that will do is every time I submit a market order using the tool, it will ask me if I really want to submit a market order, a market order, sorry. So this is a, a useful feature for people um, who are unsure what they're doing. OK, but if you're scalping, you might want to turn that off to do fast market orders okay so the first thing I'm going to do is open up a, a tool here okay and I'm going to drag the reward just above that level and the risk I'm going to put just under the value here in the other video we explained that um, it also calculates your risk based on um, um, the amount you want to actual risk but we're not going to cover that it's covered in the other video we'll do another separate one later so this video is just going to cover creating a market order it's not going to go into detail about anything else so once you've got it on there to create your market order, it's very simple. You just click on this button there. It says, are you sure you wish to submit a market order? Yes. And the market order is submitted Okay, at the levels you set there. And again, you can adjust the stop loss or take profit to adjust the actual values here. Now, I can close that order by clicking on the X here. That's the, the only way you can close the order is to use the CTrader platform by um, closing it from here um, or closing it from the actual tool window at the bottom which I'll show you if I press F11 and if I open up another market order okay yes you can see it's down here this is the position so you've got a few ways of uh, closing the order you can just press the X here or you can actually click it from there okay that's the only two ways of doing it now I'm going to go back into settings I'm also going to turn off auto confirmation okay so now what's going to happen I'm going to do a sell this time and I'm going to readjust the levels and I'm going to click the cell to create a market order. That's created a cell market order. You can see the values down here. Um, and again, you can adjust the stop loss or take profit to anything you want. Once it's open, you can just readjust to adjust your risk. And you can obviously reverse the trade, um, double up the trade, add extra protection, add a trading stop. All the other features that you get with the C Trader platform, you can do advanced stop loss on it as well. So um, You've got all the features that you've got with the C Trader platform to actually modify this position once it's open. Okay, um, and again, if you like, I said, if you move the stop loss, it readjusts your risk. Um, a separate video. If you haven't already familiar with this, this tool will actually auto adjust your risk based on your risk that you set um, in the value the, in the settings folder. Okay, I'll cover this one again separately. So what I'm going to do now is close that and I'm going to show you another way of opening a market order. Okay, so instead of I'm going to close that too and go for buy. So instead of using the tool to create a market order, you can just use this for risk and reward and you can just create a market order in the new way. Uh, so the normal way using C Trader and I want to create a buy order um, and you can set your stop loss or take profit. Um, you can do the price. You can enter the price here. That you want it to be which is the same price there 145195 so you can see how much quicker it is using the tool to do this uh, rather than oh sorry that's stop loss see how much quicker it is to use the tool to do this rather than actually going and, and creating this so there's a big difference between using the tool to auto calculate these values and uh, going in and setting the values because uh, once you set the market order so I'm going to actually show that as a quick demonstration actually so the idea is, um, if I wasn't using this, oh, I've got to close that down. Just it. If I wasn't using this tool, if I close the tool down and just close it completely. Now, if I want to create a market order, uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it. Actually, one is to create the market order and you can create a buy position and you can not set your stop loss or take profit yet. And you can just place the order. And then once the order is placed, you can then drag your take profit or stop loss anywhere you want on the chart. And you can keep adjusting that. But you don't really know what your risk is. You can go over to there and your risk will change with this. The actual um, in the other video explains in more detail how the risk is pre-calculated. 
Okay, that's one way of doing it. And then the other way is to actually use the tool. Okay, and pre-plan your trades before you even submit a market order. So you, you don't even have to go into the trade to actually see what you're doing. You can actually plan it out, see exactly what you're going to win, what you're going to lose, what the potential risk is um, before you even submit the order. Okay, that's the difference between the two. Okay, so this video was just going to explain uh, creating market orders using this um, tool. And um, there's going to be many more videos going into detail about all the different features um, of using the tool. So if you look at the playlist, you should be able to find uh, all of, all about them. Okay.